Today is News Engagement Day. We're here at the University of Florida Innovation News Center, and we're gonna take a walk around Weimar Hall and ask faculty, staff, and students the top things that they learned from looking, reading, and listening to the news today. Texting is the preferred form of communication for teenagers, compulsive texting, and on average, they send 167 texts per day, and that it's affecting their grades in school. CBS News. Facebook has recently teamed up with a French satellite company to offer people in sub-Saharan Africa with internet access. By the second half of 2016, 14 countries in West, East, and South Africa should have the service. CNN. Scientists are using CT scans and other technologies to examine the uh, bodies of the victims of Mount Vesuvius in Pompeii to learn more about how they lived and, and what their lives were like. The New York Times. A Montana man fended off a grizzly bear attack by shoving his arm down his throat because he read in a magazine that bears have bad gag reflexes. The Associated Press. A 19-year-old teen from Ocala was arrested and charged for animal cruelty felony after he poisoned his neighbor's dog with antifreeze. Uh, he was released on bond. AP Wire. Disney's top of the line season pass to Disneyland and Disney California Adventure has now topped $1,000. USA Today. Analysts say that Putin's goal in the uh, airstrikes in Syria is actually more to support Bashar al-Assad's government and is aimed at moderates in uh, Syria rather than uh, defeating ISIS. National Public Radio. Officials in Gainesville are going to wait longer before deciding if they're going to make uh, 34th Street four lanes instead of two. It's taken forever but they're tabling $83 million they have. We'll decide later. Gainesville Sun. George Zimmerman says that he retweeted a photo of Trayvon Martin accidentally. Orlando Sentinel. Three out of the last four times that the Gators have beaten a team that's in the top three by more than 10 points, they've gone on to win the national championship. Just saying. ESPN.